All right, then. Uh, this is Aaron from the Action Points podcast. Uh, you can find us. You can find more unboxings uh, if you follow me here on Periscope. But you can, we also do a uh, podcast about board games, video games, comics, and TV, and other po- geek culture stuff at theactionpointspodcast.com. On Twitter, it's at action underscore points. You can find us on iTunes and on your favorite podcast app. Um, yeah, so now this is the big one. Blood Rage, by, designed by Eric Lang, art by Adrian Smith, um, published by Cool Mini or not, through Kickstarter. And uh, there's going to be a lot of stuff in there, so I'll just jump right through it. You can see the reflection, this Mysterium there in the reflection. Um, so I've just got a whole bunch of games from Kickstarter. Uh, Including this one, and there's going to be a bunch of stuff in here, not just <coughs> in the base game, uh, but because I backed it on Kickstarter, there's a bunch of stretch goals um, and bonuses that come with it as well. And it is a pretty hefty box. Look at that, it's, pretty, it's already a pretty huge box. And there's only going to be more. I haven't even shown you the stuff that's in the circles. Uh, Alright, let's see what's inside. Thick rule book here. Some really nice art. Tells you all the plastic stuff that you're getting. All the minis. Uh, fitting a company called Cool Mini or not, there's a bunch of minis inside. Okay, let's have a look. That looks really nice there. Oh, we've got a nice little well for cards. These are player boards, I assume. I'm just gonna set this aside for a while. Boxes inside. Uh, I assume I filled with the aforementioned minis. I had a little bit of hope when I saw the, that bit of plastic there that there might be a nice plastic insert, but I guess there's not enough space. Uh, little plastic tokens there for you to clear. Cards. That will sit there. A bunch of different cards there. And you've got your punch boards and the main board. Let's have a look at what's in the main board. Oh, that's a little tree. in the center and the other regions around it. It's pretty much an island here. Uh, it's a pretty nice main board. Put it back in there. But you know what? You're not here for cardboard and boards. All of those are pretty great. And you're here for minis. Let's have a look at the minis. Oh, look at that. These are the plastic bases. For you to signify which minis belong to you. And these are the aforementioned minis. Oh. That's come out of its place, but it's okay. Just stick it back in there. The red one as well. There you go. 
I don't know how well you can see these. Oh, don't focus. Um, we've got standard bearers here. That's a pretty cool one. Uh, I assume the, these are like heroes, hero characters. God damn. So many minis. It's really difficult to get this damn thing to focus properly. But hopefully you get an idea. These minis are really really detailed. got unique standards that are being held by these standard bearers and then using sculpts for the rest for these ones as well the hammer and these are repeated sculpts with spearmen and you know, axe Warriors. That's there <coughs> in the basement. Um, we'll go have a look at here. This box should have some monsters. Look at that. Well, look at the giants. That is. Fantastic. So detailed. Right. Look at that right there. Except <laughs> it's a little bit there's a bit of a see that? It's a bit bent. There. I think the, the basis should help with that, hopefully. Uh, What's that? A stone thrower giant. Look at them guns! And butt. Look at this toy, toy butt. And these are fantastic. It's huge. Could use them in D and D campaigns. Much better than the sculpts of the minis that we've been using. Well, not like we've done a lot of the ending recently. Look at that. All the pieces there. To scale. Ooh. You're gonna get eaten. Whoops. Yeah. Fitting end. So yeah, that is what's in the base game of Blood Rage. We've done a good job of figuring out the packaging. There's a little there's a little hole there for the hydra and space for the sword to poke through. Uh, these things will sit here. I'll punch these later because we've still got a bunch of things to open up in the stretch goals. So there's going to be lots and lots of extras. There's the gods of Asgard, the extra minis here. You can see Fenrir. The Mystic Troll. Uh, that's the Mystics of Midgard expansion. The Mountain Giant. I'm gonna open these all up. Uh, there's one more mini here for the Wolfman. 5th player extras. 
that's more. There is more. The fifth player expansion. And the Wild Boar Clan expansion. That, if we just put that all together, that's what we get. That's the tier that I got for backing on Kickstarter. That's everything that came in the box. So it's a pretty huge box. Um, yeah. So you've already seen the minis in the main one. Ah, why not? Let's look at the sexy ones first. Got the Wolfman. Comes in his own box. There's a little card that comes there as well. For a wolfman. And you can see a Wolfman, Marv Wolfman, and George Perez. So, where's the Perez expansion? <laughs> Dumb puns. Right, I'll put a Wolfman back in its. In the box. Okay, I can see the mountain giant as well. I'm not sure how I'm gonna store all this stuff. I've gotta figure something out. Um, I'm sure people online have already started planning out their inserts to help store this. Uh, but I have no idea. I did not expect so many things. I mean, I kind of did. Now that it's here, I figured out how to saw them. Just just dump all the extras into another box. So that's the mountain giant. That's the fantastic art on all the little extras. Uh, typical thing: the cards. Have a little look at the sculpt. More detail. <clears throat> you know what? Uh, I'm not gonna go on for too long with this one. So I actually have to leave my house soon. But you can see the big monsters, pretty visible. There for Fenrir and the Mystic Troll. So I'm not gonna bother with them for now. I'll have a look at what's in the other expansions. So the fifth player expansion, I'll just write to enough material for the fifth player. The base game just plays one four. Um, and inside. And a little rule sheet for the fifth player. Some extra cuts. Uh, bases. And my word, these are different sculpts. Uh, there you go, colored bases. And uh, a ram can now for the fifth player. If you compare it to the base game, so you've got completely different sculpts for the axe, for your your standard bearers and all your little people. That is a lot of dedication for that. So, some new 
stuff. Fifth player. Let's see what's in the fifth player extras. You get sculpted Rams hit tokens. Um, so these cards are supposed to be here, I guess. Uh, and you have alternate hero sculpts there. Monsters, treat alternate sculpt monster figures. And four sculpted Ram tokens. Nice. Hey, how come I don't get. Can I get Scott the tokens in a base game? I don't think I do. How come the fifth player gets bonus stuff? Yeah, I have to sit with my shitty wood cardboard tokens now. <laughs> Ah, they're in here, in the Wild War Clan. Let's have a look at that. The Wild War Clan expansion. Get the sculpted tokens for the factions in the base game. So the falcon, the serpent, the wolf. That's the new bar clan, and there's the paw. And sculpted tokens for these these red ones as well. That's pretty cool. An alternate clan, which is the wild bar clan. Yeah, you still only play five players, but we have an alternate clan if you want. So why wouldn't this be? Huh? Why wouldn't they put this as the fifth player expansion? That's strange. Uh, two more boxes to go. Mystics of Midgard and Gods of Asgard. Uh, open the Mystics. there and basis you can see at the back and you've got these mystic sculpts so each clan gets two mystics so there's just extra characters and then there's the cards of Asgo you a little bit more involved extra rules but six sculpts here for different gods of Asgard got Odin Odin Thor Tear, Frigga, Loki, and Heimdall. There we go. Look at that. Thor's got his little throne as well. Cool. 
Okay, cool. I think I will end it there. So that is Blood Rage <coughs> from Cool Media Not, uh, and all the expansions that come with it uh, from the Kickstarter. But it'll come with it. Paid for it. I paid for it. Uh, that's all of them. That fit into one cube. It's blood rage. Ta -da. Um, yeah, so I'll need to read the rules. I'm looking forward to play that because it's apparently a really cool combat driven game. I've heard a lot of good things about it, not just about the production quality, but the game is supposed to be pretty fun as well. Um, and yeah, that's it for this unboxing. I've got to go. Um, but you can find more stuff from us at, from me, at theactionpointspodcast.com or at action underscore points on Twitter. Um, and follow me for more unboxings of video, of, <laughs> of board games on, on Periscope. See you all for now.